Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day and now it's after work. I'm Joe and we are here with one of my favorite Metroid games in the GBA world. That is Metroid Fusion. There were two. There was Zero, Zero Mission, which we played first. Love that game now. Um, it may outbeat Fusion, but I want to I want to replay this game. Come back to uh, to to a very fond game in my GBA days. So guys, we're gonna jump into this. This game, although the beginning of the game does say it's Metroid 4, um, it takes place after Other M. So uh, this is. <laughs> uh, this game is actually... Can I delete this file before we move on? No? No? Oh, it'll even give it right there. But, uh... Boom. This game was... What was supposed to take place after Super Metroid is now after Other M. Because Other M is now taking that spot. Uh, it goes Super Metroid, Other M, and now Metroid Fusion. We finished Super Metroid uh, last week, actually. So I figured, you know what? Screw it. Let's jump into this. We can probably knock this out in a couple of streams as well. I'm going to go with uh, File B, I guess, because I... Oh, you can't erase. Okay. I was like, I think I was playing it just to get used to the controls again, <laughs> is my guess. And without further ado, Metroid Fusion. Let's go. Metroid Fusion. Huh. I had been assigned to watch the butt over biologic research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Return to Metroid 2. This is where she killed every single Metroid, except one. Except one. Which ended up saving us in Metroid in Super Metroid. Ugh. And what's interesting about the Game Boy Advance is you notice the graphical upgrade from the Game Boy Color to the Advance. It was there that I was attacked by the life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into the asteroid belt. Oh, oh boy. Drifting away. Oop. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before the impact. Biologic's vessel covered it, transporting me to the Galactic Federation headquarters. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated in my system that it couldn't be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance, however. The X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make the anti-X vaccine. It seemed that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388, the same one that was used that we found that saved us in Super Metroid. It's coming full circle, guys. Serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. <laughs> what did I see there, Ghost of Goblin? <laughs> I heard the only Metroid that wasn't killed my was named Tyrone. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Notice how our suit sort of resembles a Metroid. The Metroid DNA within us now. Or within Samus. Pondering this fact, I realized I, had, I owe the Metroid hatchling in my life twice over. Saved us from Mother Brain. We'll soon be arriving at, B, at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. 
ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the biologic space labs, or BSL, research station during my surgery. The research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that, the un and a, that an unexplained explosion rocked the station for some reason. This awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be to over be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO, something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. And we'll find out in other M who that is. We might get a reference here if I remember correctly. This still looks so- dude, doesn't it? Doesn't it look crisp? This is coming off the Wii U. Off the virtual console. I actually have the cartridge in my Game Boy Player. I was gonna originally do it on the GameCube. But, uh, I voted against. <laughs> There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing the samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the x virus <laughs> The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate the quarantine bay here. Quickly move and move quickly and quietly. You're still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop to the navigate. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? They're gonna do that a lot in this game. Uh, now go to the quarantine bay. All right. It's not even my ship. Here we go. Look at this. Damn, that looks... I'm not gonna lie. It looks better on the screen that you guys are watching it on than my screen. This looks good. Oh, man. But, you know, baby Tyrone got destroyed. Rest in peace, Tyrone. He gave up... He gave up its life. Back in Super Metroid. Back on planet Zebus. Oh, okay, so we can latch on up right away. Awesome. What? Whoa, whoa, boy. Goldheart, how are you doing? Are you happy we're, we're, we're jumping into some Metroid? Finally! Metroid Fusion, I mean! We played Zero Mission, we played Prime, we're, ha we're quarter of the way through Prime 2. Um, we did Super Metroid, so I figured we'll knock this one out pretty quick, too. The quarantine bay is ahead, bio signs are confirmed, be careful. So, something that's different in this one that they don't really do in some of the other ones other than Other M is the uh, very hand-holdy thing where they give you objectives and it's the only, like Sam said, it's the second time that she's kind of been taking orders. Oh, boy. Do I, don't I absorb that? Yes, I do. Isn't my objective over here? Dun, 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 dun. Again, that very sci-fi feel. <laughs> Rip Rony to Rony! <laughs> oh my gosh. Aren't we supposed to be all up in there? Over there? Two seconds. And if you guys even notice, like, a bit of sluggishness on the, uh... On the stream, in terms of, like, the actual gameplay, like, cutting in and out there... Definitely give me a heads up. I just need to. I will just need to refresh the capture card. Yeah, it's just a thing that happens. I don't know why. Man, it was awesome. Oh snap, dude, that's good. What? One of my. One of my most. I. Oh, you just got out of Bible study. Sorry, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> That's awesome.
<laughs> this is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen can be hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. Seems Metroids were the main pred predators of X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it also has changed your cellular makeup. You'll never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You can also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. The station is home to so many species, some violent ones. You must keep X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance to survival rates is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. <laughs> now get going. Level zero hatches have been unlocked. All right. So instead of my power-ups, like in Other M, being held captive without uh, use by, uh, unless permitted, by a certain captain. <laughs> I have no powers, but the access levels are like sort of restricted. And this is how we're gonna heal is by these pex X parasites. Alright, so we're gonna save here. But that's awesome, Goldheart. Wish you guys would join one day. Dude, you're upstate right now, right, Goldheart? Like for a vacation or whatever? Oh boy. Hello. Oh, secret passage. And I don't have Morph Ball. But that, this is what's crazy. These X Parasites have sort of infested everything, and I need missiles for that, if I remember correctly. It has been quite a while since i played this game. But yeah, navigation rooms are going to be our ways of, like, getting the information of what we need to do next. Uh, which is why this game, uh, for all its great... Great, um... All the great things within this game, its downside is it's a lot of dialogue. It's very dialogue heavy. I have received news from headquarters. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. So this will help against some enemies. You can hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room's here. Is your objective clear? Yes. With missiles, your chance of survival rate becomes 20%. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Thanks, Doc. What is up? We're we're fight 06. Welcome to the stream, dude. What's going on? That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under the name Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. For anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified, out of respect and with some irony. And I, I named the computer after him computer on the ship that we're on or is that the computer of the uh, the computer of the uh, thing in a navigation room maybe oh nice we didn't need it our data rooms upstairs and just want to save first before things go south. Because we're still at the beginning of this game. <laughs> oh, here we go. Alright. Oh, let's get to the data room first, okay. Overall, it's a great game. Oh, yeah, 100%, dude. I love the ever loving crap out of this game. It still says talk shows? Try hitting refresh. It should have changed already. I clicked update information again just to make sure. Thanks for the heads up, though. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. What's happened? I don't like that dead, dead silence. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. 
This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to get to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bioscience, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, yep, we can absorb different types of X's. Missiles are your only hope. <laughs> Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Like how how quiet it got. Oh boy, where's my elevator? Yo, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like the, <laughs> the elevator isn't going. Yo, you're right. Needed to reach. Oh, dude, it's all good. No worries. I I got a little concerned because like, oh, I hope it's still not telling me that. <laughs> oh man, but what's going on, everybody? My name's Joe. I play video games after work. And we also talk about video games every Friday night, 7.30, to, uh, specifically Nintendo. We are pretty much a Nintendo channel, for the most part. Um, oh, you know what? How do I select, uh, oh, there we go. There was an area up there. I should just go up that way. But, uh, I have a show called... Uh, that's been renamed that Nintendo show. There we go. Boom. Eat it. And uh, we talk about all things Nintendo, current, current event-wise. And then afterwards, we normally do Nintendo Spotlight, which is more or less, I play... Some games from the eShop, we talk about the developer, we... Oh, missile tank expansion. And, um... We ultimately decide whether or not the game is worth it, learn a little bit about its story. And go on from there. And usually I play each game for about, like, 20-30 minutes, but we did most of them... We did all the games, actually, I should say, last, uh, last night, on last night's stream. Now that should stay there, hopefully, because I want to get to this save point here. That's a good thing about this game also, is like, there's save points everywhere because it's a handheld game, and GBA did not have a sleep function, which was something that uh, they wanted to add in originally, but just didn't have time to... Not time, but I guess uh, the technology just wasn't fully there to be able to do it at an affordable cost. Is that an energy? Yep, that's an energy tank. Beautiful. Woo! Oh boy, here we go. Oh, go hard. It's all good. I I totally understand. Hello. Oh boy. Oh, hello. Oh boy. I'm trying to. Jo wow, I'm doing a terrible job job at job at, <laughs> at dodging. There we go. Much better. Ugh, no. There we go. What did we get? Morph Ball. There we go. Now, if you notice, that enemy we were just fighting was rolling around the entire time. That's sort of how you know. You, that's sort of like an indicator. Like, oh, he's doing that. Maybe that's the power that I'm going to get. So we don't get them through Chozo statues like we've been doing in most Metroid games. But yeah, go hard. It doesn't bother me. I figured, I mean, I, I guess... Maybe some people it might bother or whatever. I'm I'm cool, however. <laughs> oh, do I need to shoot that? I'm sorry, I like missed out on that was like a bad time for me to like miss out on the entire chat that's going on right now. <laughs> and sorry, for some reason whispers show up 
above me. Don't know why, so if you whisper at me, <laughs> keep it clean. <laughs> uh, do you think it's worth getting Wii U for Virtual Console, or should I hold out for them to allow access on my Switch? Dude, so here's the thing. I'm, like, having the inner struggle myself with Switch, Ghosted, uh, in terms of Virtual Console. Because they keep doing these classic consoles, and I'm not sure if they plan on doing it anytime soon. The, the 2018 January or spring, whatever they decide to do, uh, to release the uh, Nintendo Online program, is the first time we're probably going to see NES titles on the Switch. They made no mention of like SNES, N64, so I'm wondering if like once the end the Super Nintendo Classic. Uh, hype dies down and everyone's got theirs or hopefully everyone has theirs I'm gonna just go in here and I'll let the dialogue do its thing for the moment but uh because I do want to chat about this real quick oh good the, even the music went down or not all right here we go let's get back into the dialogue <laughs> Samus it's as I feared the breeding environments they've been invaded by X parasites of course they have Sector 1, SRX, shows several abnormalities and biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of an SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to access shaft and use elevator 1. Alright, let's go. We got to go now. My environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. So yeah, they lock out areas to sort of be like, hey, that's not where you need to go. I have such a love-hate with Nintendo. I, don't we all? <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that's hidden up there. I don't know what I need to use. A mutual relationship! <laughs> oh, I don't even have a charge shot to go off of. Oh gosh, sub-zero temperatures. Now the reason I'm being hurt so much is because the Metroid DNA is within me right now. And um, Metroids don't like ice. They're very susceptible to ice. Hence, that's why I'm all, I'm all hurdy-hurdy now. I'm gonna need a suit for that. Oh. What? Not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. Forgot about that. Not creepy at all. <laughs> 